Have you ever wondered what kind of man George Washington really was? We often hear about his role as the first president of the United States, but there are some fascinating things about him that many people don't know. For instance, did you know that Washington never actually lived in the White House? When he was president, the capital of the United States wasn't in Washington, D.C. It was in Philadelphia. The White House wasn't even built until after he left office. So while he laid the foundation for what the presidency would become, he never got to call the White House his home. But there is something else that made Washington stand out. He was a giant of a man for his time, standing at six feet, two inches tall. Back in the 18th century, that was quite impressive, making him one of the tallest presidents in American history. His height wasn't just a physical trait, it also added to his commanding presence. People looked up to him literally, and his stature helped reinforce the respect and authority he carried with him. But Washington wasn't just tall and respected, he was also deeply involved in something that might surprise you. He was a Freemason, which is a kind of fraternity that focuses on moral and ethical development. Being a Freemason was important to Washington, and he was very active in his local Masonic Lodge. The Freemasons are known for their secretive rituals and symbols, but at the core, they're all about building strong moral character and doing good in the community. Washington believed in these principles and lived by them, which is part of what made him such a revered leader.